All right. I guess some of you think I'm on the beach drinking a mojito. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm diligently working on my dream. Drinking mojitos gave me motivation. But I'm not. This is a mixing stick that comes with, or you have to buy it, to use with this self-metering West System Stickened Epoxy. A two-part gap filling epoxy. So when you take this cap off, you'll see that you can see it right there. It's like yellow and white. And as you push it down the the um, clock gun, it mixes itself. And so what I've been doing today, after work, I had a little bit of delamination here. This whole board wasn't separated, but I had about an inch to maybe two inches in some locations where the top board had separated. Um, this was the bottom side when I did the initial layup, and I guess potentially I didn't get enough pressure on it, or um, yeah, it has to be the only reason. Didn't get enough pressure because I couldn't really see the gap because remember this gap was, you know, when I eventually did it was like this. This was the top. This was the top here. This was the bottom, and the bottom was against the floor. So I couldn't see the gap at the bottom. So I guess I didn't get enough pressure on that top board when I did the initial layup last summer. And so there are a few other spots on here. Let's see if we can see one. You see down there, you see those black lines? Those are some small delamination. And so what I'm doing is I'm using that West Systems thickened epoxy and I'm sanding it first with some sandpaper down there. I guess you can see right there, sandpaper. And I'm wrapping the sandpaper around that um, spackle knife, uh, plastering knife or whatever you want to call it and I'm sanding inside of space as much as I can to make sure I'm getting in there you know cleaning it out and then using the West Systems epoxy to caulk it as much as possible um, clamping it up and letting it sit because what we have to do next I want to of course get this perfect I want to sand it um, I have to turn it over because right now it's upside down I have to put on these boards that will allow me to clamp the um, clamp the uh, the frames on and the, the boards get clamped and they get screwed to the Kilson give me a nice strong mechanical and chemical bond so just doing this today um, the section down there is a thicker section four and a half inches thick so I have a bunch of three inch clamps and I've got um, less <laughs> of the six inch clamps so I need about seven more six inch clamps because the thing is you've got to do uh, an entire span where you have any gaps because once you get one closed you want to make sure that the, that the gap is all filled with a thickened epoxy so you can get good adhesion um, so I'll do that sometime this week and build a boat so <laughs> you will get more on that excellent most excellent adventure in the Caribbean a little bit later I'm actually going to produce a real video with music so it may be a month from now but eventually you'll get a video of my fantastic experience uh, in the Caribbean and I did something very awesome <laughs> uh, most awesome um, but you have to wait till later to find out and so until next time when we're building a boat or doing something awesome in the Caribbean Peace and blessings. I need a mojito.